We live for the future. We are constantly acting in the present to bring about the future we would prefer. And we can never know what that future will bring for sure, so we can never do more than make our best guess. We rely on the patterns we've noticed from the past because the patterns of the past are usually also true for the future. As a child, we tagged all our experiences as either safe or unsafe, pleasant or unpleasant. So being held by mother felt safe, ice cream felt pleasant, but falling over and scratching your legs didn't feel pleasant. We are drawn to what we like and repelled by what we don't like. So over time, we develop a mental map about ourselves and the people in the world that we live in. Am I a safe and pleasant person or not? And what about other people? We map people as we meet them. And that map becomes a guide to navigate through our lives, just as a map is a guide to navigate our way across the surface of the earth. So in the same way that we look at a map so that we can avoid boggy marshes, steep cliffs and ravines, we compare our present situation to the mental map that we've developed. And that tells us, based on our previous experience, what we should do and what we should avoid. So... Since the future is constantly changing, we have to make up our mind about what we will do before that future we don't want happens. So I notice that petrol in the car is running low, so I have to get to a petrol station and fill up before the tank runs out. We need to be alert to the signals that come to us. Do we notice another person getting louder and angrier? Do we notice our own body changing? Our breathing gets deeper, our heart rate goes up, and choose something else before the anger builds up to the point of being out of control. So if we notice what is happening, we have the choice of making a deliberate decision about what to do, about what is the best in the long run, rather than just letting our emotions do what we feel in the immediate moment. So taking a short break or a timeout allows us to calmly reassess any situation. Every time we respond in a better way, we are forming a new habit. We are rewriting the map. It doesn't happen all at once, but if we repeat the new behaviours over and over, the changes to the map become clearer and clearer.